Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and Mongo's CRUD tutorial series. In the last episode, we implemented the update functionality. Today, we are going to learn the final functionality, which is D, which is the delete functionality. If you have missed out on the first six parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them since all of the code that we are writing is related and is in continuation. In order to learn and master end to end, please do check out all the six uh, previous episodes. Today, we are going to implement the delete functionality and to implement delete functionality, we will be writing the HTTP delete method. Just like how we used update, we used put method. Today, we are going to write router.delete method. Okay, but just a word of caution. In real time, nobody does a delete unless explicitly the, you want to delete the account, right? So there are two types of deletes, um, two types of deletes. So one is called soft delete and the other is the hard delete, okay? So soft delete means you just set a flag, right? Um, you just set a flag as yes or no, like active, Right, so you'll set it to yes or no, but hard delete is delete is actually deletion of the record or the document. Right, that's what it means. So I'm going to show you soft delete is nothing but an put. Right, it's an update. So you basically update the field to active or deleted or something like that. But hard delete is when you actually delete it. So I'm going to do the second option. If you want to implement the soft delete, you can just use this code, which we wrote in the previous episode to update a given document. Okay, we used find one and update. Let's go ahead, implement today, and we are going to write the delete method. So I'm going to say the, it still be ID slash colon ID. Now, a lot of times new beginners or freshers will make this mistake. They tend to give different, different URLs for each different endpoint thinking it's cool. Whereas RESTful principle, API principle says, whatever is the model, like in our case, it's a contact. So everything is based on contact. When you say slash get contact, when you say slash dot post contact, when you say dot put contact, right? So everything point, the URL will be same, but based on the HTTP method, it will know which one to route to. Okay, so here I'm saying route dot delete, and then I'm, uh, then I'm saying contact slash ID. That means I will pass in the parameter that is the document ID, and we will delete it. So first, let's write the try catch. Catch error console dot log error. Then response dot status five hundred dot JSON message unable to delete the contact. Okay, that's for the catch exception. Inside the try, first we are going to collect that data. So I'm going to say ID is equal to request dot params dot ID. Okay. Now here you can do a lot of different variations of ID, like you can do um, Say you, you want to check if it's null, empty, and all of that you will do. And then we are going to say contact dot. Uh, that, is, that is the method. Now I'm going to say find by ID and delete. Oh, this is find by ID and, and delete. Okay, find by ID and delete. That is the one that we are going to use. And this will take an ID. Okay, this will take an ID that will pass. Now here it says ID as the option. So I'm going to pass the ID as the option and I'm going to say dot then deleted contact and write dot catch error console dot log response dot status 500 once you type so much at your work, you get so used to it that you will be quick in typing the way I am. So don't worry about it. It takes years of um, experience and coding to get here. Um, if you are wondering in any case. So 
console.log delete contact and then I'm going to send back the response and say it's 200 JSON and here I'm going to send the message contact successfully deleted and I am going to say the deleted contact details are all right <coughs> so that's how that's all we need um, we have deleted the ID we'll get an ID from the par URL param and we'll collect it then we run the method find by ID and delete pass the ID then delete the particular thing give a message return the deleted contact if something goes wrong give the error right that's all you need for that so let's go ahead and run the program by running node file name which is index.js I go here and first I'm going to run a get command and get all the details slash contact so it returns me all the details right now let's say I want to delete the Intel corporation I'm going to say contact slash ID and the method is HTTP delete okay now delete that and hit send and it says contact deleted successfully and this was the deleted data that is there okay now if we want to verify I'm going to delete this go to my get and hit send it will get me all the records but Intel is not there because that's deleted in the MongoDB so the other way to verify is go to MongoDB and check that it's there now let's say I want to take Apple Corporation copy that ID again select the delete contact slash delete hit send and it says contact deleted successfully go and do find and in the MongoDB that document is gone from the collection contacts so that is your delete functionality where we delete it now here again like I said you can put some validations if you want to check if ID then only do all this else just give that bad data or bad param etc if it's empty it cannot be empty something like that right so that I leave it up to you that's very basic check you I'm sure you can put it <coughs> all right so that brings us to the end of the functionality of this particular series in the next episode I'm going to do a final demo of the entire API's that we have built and then I'll show you and share with you how you can get this entire code that I've written in your local from github <coughs> thank you so much for joining in this series I hope you learn you have learned so much um, I have enjoyed a lot building this tutorial for you I really and sincerely hope that you're learning you're getting and you're getting worth your time <coughs> thank you so much for joining in this episode join me in the last final episode of this particular series where I'll give you the demo and the source code thank you so much for joining Good luck and see you in the next episode.